Hey guys, today we're looking at the Synology DS215J. This is their newest model, their newest NAS uh, storage model for a two-bay drive. I'm going to show you guys a little bit how it works, uh, how to set it up and stuff, because this isn't my first uh, Synology drive. I've had the four-bay DS412 um, before, so this is my second one. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So yeah, this is what you get out of the box. You get this nice um, plastic case right here. This is their newest model. You got um, two discs, of course, LAN and status signal, and uh, you get connections for USB, two USB, Ethernet, and power adapter there. You also get a power adapter, of course, and a little readme guide here. Synology, made by a Taiwanese company, competes with QNAP and Drobo and those other NAS makers. Okay, and you got some screws here. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take this apart because uh, one thing when you install uh, a NAS, uh, basically you can either choose to install them with drives or, uh, or basically order them with drives or order them uh, with no drives. And I order them with no drives because it's a little bit cheaper that way and I can install my own drives on it. So uh, we're going to open this, this guy up. Let's see. How do we do that? Um, I think we just push here. There we go. Let's push a little bit back on the back end here. Push a little bit, opens up. Okay, so here's the internals. You can see there's connections for two drives here. So what I do is I go on Amazon and I find these nice little NAS drives called WD Reds. And I got three terabyte ones so I can read them. Two of them. I'm going to install two of them here, read these drives. Okay, let's do that. I have these WD Reds in my other NAS too. They're really good drives, actually. It hasn't failed me yet. Um, so let's see. Got two connections here. So one connection is going to go like this. <sighs> incorrect. You have to stick it in like this. Should be good. The other drive, same thing. I think they just plug and play for both these. Okay. Uh, we just we just stuck them in like this. I think that should be good. Okay. Okay, so we got both these WD Reds in them, which are pretty heavy. They're three terabytes each, but you can get them up to higher capacity or lower if you want them. I choose three terabytes. It's best for me. All right. I'm gonna close this up. All right, and screws are these. Small ones. Yeah, let's try these ones. Yeah, I think they fit. Okay. All right. Um, so now we got these NAS drives in here now, and. I have to put some screws on them actually. They're quite heavy. I don't want them shaking around. I need some screws on here. This one. This one's fine. Alright. The thing about NAS drives is that they have these screws on top of these drives so that you can use them with these storage bays and screw them in. Yep. Okay, that 
looks. have to align properly. And to align properly also not gonna fit. Tom one's a little bit harder. It's like kind of blocked. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, I think I got all of them now. Uh, okay, so two NAS drives been um, to screw them in. Once they're screwed in, they're ready to go. Just push them in the back. Like this. And then uh, there's a, two more at the back to screw in. Should be these screws. Hmm. Okay, it might be the small ones at the back. I'm not sure I get I get three of these. There's only two slots, so I'm not sure if there's these are the right ones. The other ones don't fit though. Hmm. It's a bummer. Okay, well anyways, I think I got them. Okay. 
I can't push it out anymore, so I think these screws are, done, are doing their job. All right, Synology is set up. Now it's time to plug it in. Okay, so we got our nice AC adapter jack here. Plug it in. We also got to connect the Ethernet to our modem or our router. Alright, and in a bit I'll show you guys the interface, and uh, it's booting up these discs here. It takes a bit to boot up, and then I'll show you the interface uh, of Synology. They have a unique Linux interface there. I'll show you guys how that works. Alright, so once you set up your Synology, you just go through these steps. You go to this web address, and then it'll have an install wizard for you. So it's pretty easy, it just sets everything up for you, and then you do an update, and you can download different packages here, which is nice. So this is kind of like a a uh, Linux based um, operating system here on the Synology is pretty nice. Uh, you can go to the package center and you can like download different um, different apps for it basically which is pretty nice and play video, audio, media, etc. And uh, you can see all your different file system settings here. So I'm just gonna hook up my file station here. You can create your different folders here of course and upload something. Let's see so I got something here. Let's say I have some videos here I want to upload. Let's see. Okay, why not? So I have a um, music video here I want to upload. Add it to my upload queue. It will upload it. Pretty fast. I connected to connected it to Ethernet. So as long as you're on the same network, it should be fine. And then you can play it from here. Nice. All right. All right, so this is just playing from my disk station right now. But what's even better is that you can actually hook it up to some DLN LNA services and uh, play it from there. So let me give you an example. 